My name is Ali Nurani. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I specialize in shoulders and elbows. Today we are going to talk about a typical journey that a patient will go through when having a shoulder arthroscopy. Once the patient is consented, we carry out a team brief where we discuss all the patients that we are going to operate on. This consists of confirming all the plan for the day and any concerns that the surgical team and the anesthetic team may have. Following this, the anesthetized patient is transferred to the theater and positioned safely on the operating table. Once we have safely positioned the patient, we do our final confirmation called the WHO check. I scrub and then we prep and drape the patient and then start the procedure. Here is an inside view of the patient's shoulder. We are looking at various structures, including the supraspinatus tendon, the inferior capsule, the round structure you'll see now is the humeral head. And on the left hand side of the screen, you will see what's called the glenoid. The first bit of the arthroscopy is to confirm all the damage that we have suspected from a clinical examination, as well as the MRI scan. Then we use several instruments, including a shaver, to prepare the damaged areas for repair. This is a typical view of the inside of the shoulder that is available to me. Then we repair the damaged areas. In this case, we are repairing the damaged ligaments or the labrum of the shoulders using suture anchors. Once the repair is complete, we have a look inside the shoulder and assess the repair. Here is the final product of the repaired ligaments. Following this, the patient is safely transferred from the anesthetic room to recovery, after which point they go to their room and are hopefully discharged home the same day. Thank you very much for watching.